All right, folks. Why on earth do some materials heat up when they freeze? It sounds like something straight out of a twisted science fiction flick, doesn't it? Like saying fire turns to ice and somehow gets hotter in the process. But hold your horses, my inquisitive companions. This isn't some magical trickery or cosmic prank. It's a testament to the intricate and sometimes counterintuitive laws that govern our universe. In the grand theater of chemistry, matter pirouettes through various states, much like a human being cycling through a spectrum of moods. Liquid, solid, gas, each state boasts a unique molecular dance. Now, the conventional wisdom is that freezing should make molecules calm down, cozy up together, lose energy, and consequently, cool down. But then you have these peculiar materials, the rebels of the molecular world, operating by their own set of rules. When they decide to freeze, instead of shrinking and getting closer, they expand. This expansion exerts pressure on their surroundings, and guess what? Pressure generates heat. This expansion exerts pressure on their surroundings, and guess what? Pressure generates heat. Imagine that, a refrigerator that, instead of chilling your beverages, decides to warm them up. Mind, blown. Physics, ever the pragmatist, steps in to tell us, Hold on a second, everything operates according to the rules. Enter the concept of potential energy, a hidden stash of energy residing within the bonds that hold molecules together. When a substance transitions from a liquid to a solid state, these bonds form and a portion of this stored energy is released as latent heat. Now, in these rebellious materials, the freezing process compels the bonds to arrange themselves in a specific configuration that actually forces the molecules apart. This in turn increases their internal energy, leading to a rise in temperature. It's as if the material is declaring, I shall freeze on my own terms and I'll generate heat just to show you who's boss. Venturing into the realm of philosophy, this phenomenon nudges us to ponder the seemingly paradoxical nature of the universe. Coldness, which we typically associate with contraction and cessation of movement, can, in rare instances, be a source of heat. It's as if the cosmos is whispering, there are no absolute rules, anything is possible. This makes us question, what other seemingly contradictory phenomena might be lurking beneath the surface of our everyday experiences? What hidden truths might be veiled behind the obvious? Now, let your imagination run wild with the practical applications of this peculiar behavior. Could we harness this to create ultra-efficient cooling systems? Imagine a technology where, instead of consuming energy to cool, we utilize materials that, upon freezing, release heat in a controlled manner, and we cleverly redirect that heat for another purpose. Or perhaps this could be instrumental in highly precise industrial processes that demand unconventional temperature control. The possibilities are tantalizing. On a symbolic level, the notion of coldness birthing warmth carries profound implications. It could be a metaphor for the latent strength that resides within challenging situations or difficult experiences. It's as if the pressures and trials we face can forge an inner resilience and warmth that ultimately makes us stronger. Here, cold isn't merely a physical state. It's a symbol of adversity that can paradoxically lead to inner fortitude and growth. The most ubiquitous example of a substance that expands upon freezing is none other than water itself. This explains why pipes can burst during winter when the water inside them freezes and expands. But water isn't alone in this peculiar behavior. Certain metals and heavy water, where the hydrogen atoms are replaced with their heavier isotope, deuterium, also exhibit this characteristic. Material scientists delve deep into the atomic and molecular structures of these substances to unravel the secrets behind their seemingly anomalous behavior. 
They meticulously study the intricate dance of atoms and the subtle forces that govern their interactions, seeking to understand why these materials defy the conventional rules of thermal contraction. In the realm of myths and legends, freezing often symbolizes stasis, death, or the preservation of objects across the vast expanse of time. However, the idea that freezing could possess a warm or energy-generating aspect could inject a fresh and intriguing dimension into these ancient narratives. Imagine a myth about a formidable ice creature whose power intensifies with the increasing cold, radiating an unexpected heat. Or perhaps a tale of a frozen spring that harbors a tremendous thermal energy within its icy depths. These cultural interpretations add another layer of richness to our understanding of this fascinating phenomenon, blurring the lines between the physical and the metaphorical. Ultimately, this exploration reminds us that the world of science is brimming with surprises and the universe perpetually holds the capacity to astound us. So, instead of simply marveling at the strangeness, let us delve deeper, investigate further, and continuously exclaim, Glory be to the magnificent Creator! The intricacies of the natural world never cease to inspire awe and ignite our curiosity. If you enjoy the idea, don't forget to subscribe to The Thinkery. Here, thinking is fun and curiosity is cool. See you in the next video.